So as the title of the book suggests, all of the patterns in this book are inspired by nature. Um, I have a variety of flora and fauna designs in the book. A lot of them are decor pieces. I have butterflies and moths, um, birds like this cute little duckling, or this really bright and beautiful hummingbird with a three-dimensional wing that pops out. Um, we use different materials and techniques. So like this dragonfly, for example, uses a combination of wire slip embroidery, well, wire slips with a different kind of material called Angelina film. And I show um, readers how to create all these different kinds of elements so that their embroidery really pops out of the frame. Um, I also walk readers through how to frame their pieces. So whether or not, you know, they want to frame it in, let's say a vintage frame like this one, or if they want to keep it in a nicer embroidery hoop like this display style hoop, which is the rubber faux wood kind that nerge, um, nerge hoops make. And um, so those are some of the options for framing. Um, I also have a section in the book that's on um, accessories. And so some of the accessories that we talk about are miniature embroideries like this uh, rabbit in a garden pin, and it's actually it's a little brooch or pin, and it comes in a miniature embroidery hoop. So um, this one features silk ribbon embroidery along with padding to create the raised design. Um, some of the other small decor or accessory pieces, sorry, um, are this realistic looking chipmunk, and I talk about that in one of the sections, this realistic miniature embroidery and this um, nest, which uses a variety of different materials and fibers to create kind of a realistic little nest. And finally, the last two um, accessory projects in the book are on um, wearables. So we have this um, embroidered frog with asters, the little flowers are asters, on a t-shirt or on a shirt. And this one uses padding and it talks about how to stitch with beading and um, tapestry wool to create the three-dimensional raised look. And this one is on a tote bag. And it also uses a combination of raised stitches, padding, and again, the tapestry wool to create a raised design. So some of the commonly used tools um, that I go over in the, with the book are um, this three-in-one color tool and uh, color wheels like these kind that show readers how to pick fabric and how to pick um, thread colors that work together and will create that so that they can create their own harmonious like very well composed design. Um, so that's one of the things I talk about in the book. I also show readers how to transfer designs and two of my favorite methods for transfer are um, using wash away stabilizer. So CNT makes this and it's a stitch stabilizer. Basically you um, have a digital copy of your design on your computer and you stick this in your printer just like you would any kind of paper and you print it off and it's a sticker. So you can actually peel it off, place it on your fabric, embroider over it just like you normally would, you wash it away it's gone and there's no transferring needed like you don't have to draw it or try to transfer it um, using a light box or anything like that it's so very easy to use and it's one of the pro uh, products that I use a lot in this book um, I also use white transfer paper or dark transfer paper and this is also made by CNT and I use these for um, when I actually have to hand trace my designs onto either dark or light fabrics the two types of needles I use in this book are um, tapestry needles because we do work with a, diff a few different um, fibers like tapestry wool and uh, silk ribbons. And I also use just regular embroidery needles. But the types that I like are the John James brand and Colonial Needle uh, carries those. Um, the types of hoops I use in my um, book are usually these Nerge brand, uh, the Beechwood hoops. I really like these because they keep your fabric tight and they're a little bit easier on the hands and they're just a higher quality hoop. Okay, well, I think that's everything. Thank you so much.